thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Psalm 132. As I was going through the psalm this morning, coming to verses 13 and 14, it speaks about how the Lord had his dwelling place in Zion, and in this place was rest. Today I wanted to speak about rest. Working in a public school as a custodian, and you have to deal with walkie-talkies, people calling you and you got to deal with administration, you got to deal with nursing staff, you got to deal with kitchen staff, children, teachers, teachers' aides, fixing things, cleaning things, securing things. I can't tell you how often I love when it's quiet, I'm on my schedule, and I can put on some Christian music or a sermon and just get in the presence of God. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, when He's walked this earth, even though He was God in the flesh, gave us the example of rest in Mark chapter 1 verse 35 when it was early in the morning before the day started it, t it tells us that he went up to a mountain to be with his father in heaven uh, just to commune with him and pray with him quietly alone with the father in Mark chapter 6 verse 31 we're told that Jesus in the midst of the uh, stress of ministry uh, told his disciples to come alongside him and let to get away quietly privately to find that time of rest. How often too, as a parent, as a father, as a, as a husband, you have to find that time alone with the Lord from away from even the ones that you love the most. Just finding that peaceful, restful time with God. Exodus chapter 33, verse 14 tells us that with the presence of God in our lives, there will be rest. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ told us in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30, Come to me, all you that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You see, my friends, we have a lot of things on our minds and our hearts in this world, and it could take a toll on us mentally, emotionally, and physically. It is important to find that quiet time, that peaceful time with the Lord. I was recently reading where there was a survey done of how many people in America are dealing with sleep deprivation, insomnia, problems getting to sleep. And I know there could be a lot of factors to this. But one of the big factors is that sometimes we go to sleep or try to go to sleep with too many things on our minds or we're on our iPhones and the light of the phone and the, and the visual effects that it has on our eyes causes us to stir our emotions and causes us not to get rest you need to at the end of the day shut everything down i try to make it my habit before i go to sleep maybe about a half an hour before i go to sleep to start listening to christian music or maybe a short sermon and just start to wind down my friends psalm chapter 4 verse 8 is a reminder that with god there is sleep there is rest you'll find peace for your soul my friends when you get quiet before the lord as I do this devotional video, some 50 yards from where I am, there's a route, cars are driving by fast, honking their horns at each other. This is a hustle and bustle world. It's a doggy dog world. But as Christians, it's important to find that still time with the Lord. Be still and know that he is God. Psalm 46, verse 10. Perfect peace comes when we have our minds stayed steadfast upon the Lord. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3 reminds us. Not just here and now when we want to, you know, feel smooth and cozy with the Lord and get comfortable with Him in a few seconds of the day. No. All throughout the day, we should be continually in the presence of God. That's why it tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, to pray without ceasing. That doesn't mean you go all day long praying constantly 24 7 no but there should be a continual pattern throughout your day of praying to god finding time with him here and then when you have time when you're quiet with the with yourself and your thoughts don't try to find noise you know put on the tv and listen to this or that whatever and there's times when i'm guilty of that myself when i could find the opening up my Bible or praying or maybe calling somebody that I know is not feeling well in my church or somebody I my, uh, my family I know is not doing well, give them a call. These are things that we are called to do as Christians. Galatians chapter 6 verse 2 tells us, carry the burdens of others so as to fulfill the law of Christ. Get out of ourselves. 
when it's when you're quiet and you're alone you don't need to hear noise you don't need to hear voices a tv your phone sit still before god and in his presence you will find rest my friends i'm telling you you'll find rest that this world cannot give you i hope today's devotional video my friends will strengthen us to get in the word of god the bible read it meditate it on it obey it be in prayer be in fellowship with the lord heavenly father lord god i thank you for all my brothers and sisters in christ so see this devotional video today lord Help us to learn the discipline of being still before you, Lord, and finding rest in a restless world. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all today, my friends. Stay in the Word of God. Be led by the Holy Spirit, not your flesh this day. And find peace in Christ.